All right, here we go on Monday, September the 23rd. Uh, our scripture reading for today is Amos chapter 6 through the end of the, the book and Obadiah chapter 1. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you so much for having a weekend uh, that we have been able to dedicate ourselves to you and begin our reviving process. Thank you for the services that we had yesterday. And Father, I just ask for you to bless us tonight as we do, as we gather together once again in revival. But Lord, right now, move in our hearts. Draw us close to yourself. Speak to us through your word, by your spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so chapter 6 of the book of Amos, the Lord pronounces a woe on the Israelites for trusting in their wealth and prosperity. Therefore, he says, they shall now go captive, and those who recline at banquets shall be removed. I will deliver up the city and all that is in it. Chapter 7, the Lord showed Amos a vision of locusts destroying the land. This is uh, reminiscent of Joel. Amos asked for forgiveness and mercy, and the Lord rem relented. He was shown a fire consuming the territory. He asked the Lord to cease, and the Lord relented. Another vision of a plumb line was shown to Amos. The plumb line represents God's standards, and when we are judged by his standard, we are found to be crooked. We are unlevel. We are not straight uh, compared to God's holiness. Amaziah, a priest of the idol in Bethel, asked for King Jeroboam to expel the prophet Amos. He tells Amos to go home and prophesy there and never come back. Amos declares that he had been sent by God to announce the coming judgment on Israel for its sin. Israel shall surely be led away captive from his own land. Now he also tells Amaziah that he's not going to live and uh, Amaziah dies. In chapter 8, Amos was shown a basket of summer fruit representing a harvest of judgment. Behold, the days are coming that I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. The basket of summer fruit represented that the time had come, the harvest was ripe, and, and that the Lord was going to reap the harvest. All right, chapter 9, the Lord says, I saw, uh, I'm sorry, um, Amos said, I saw the Lord standing by the altar, and he said, Strike the doorpost, that the thresholds may shake, and break them on the heads of them all. Now let me let me tell you a little bit about this scripture. Whenever um, back on 9/11/2001, when the uh, twin towers were stricken, hit by um, airplanes, I read this passage of scripture shortly after that in a Bible study just like this, and I was thinking to myself, the scripture says, "Strike the doorpost, that the thresholds may shake, and break them on the heads of them all." This was, um, this was to me a fulfillment of that scripture partially, probably not fulf uh, fulfilling it completely, entirely. But this, in my mind, alluded to an attack like that. And um, I shared that with some folks at that time, and, and uh, some people thought like I did. Well, I mean, everybody, whenever that happened, knew that it was a warning from God for us to wake up. And a lot of people did for a few moments for a couple of months and then everybody went back to doing the same old things that they had always done so the Lord got our attention briefly and uh, then we, we went back to doing this um, going back to our same old ways the Lord continues and says behold the eyes of the Lord are on the sinful kingdom yet I will not utterly utterly destroy the house of Jacob in verses 11 through 15 it says uh, they're, they're words of hope Israel will see restoration on that day. I will plant them in their land, and no longer shall they be pulled up from the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. All right, on to Obadiah. Obadiah prophesied after Babylon had destroyed Jerusalem. The Lord pronounces judgment on Edom for helping the Babylonians to kill and capture and plunder the Israelites. For violence against your brother Jacob, shame shall cover you, and you shall be cut off forever. But on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and that speaks of a future restoration of Israel. God bless you. Wait a minute. We've got to have some uh, thoughts for today. Without that, Jan won't think about anything. All right, thought for today. Give God the credit for accomplishments 
a safeguard, that, that is a safeguard against pride. Christ is revealed as the plumb line. A plumb line is an instrument used in measuring an absolutely straight vertical line. Christ alone is qualified to walk in the midst of his people, measuring and exposing good and bad, true and false. God bless you. Have a great day.